Hello everyone, I'm Lieutenant Ryan Flood, Public Information Officer at the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. This critical incident community briefing will provide you with information about an incident in which a suspect sustained a gunshot wound during a traffic stop on January 17, 2023. The information in this video is intended to provide a better understanding of what we know occurred at this time in the investigation. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office conducts comprehensive investigations relating to critical incidents in which deputies were involved. These investigations may require our team of investigators to conduct multiple interviews, review audio and video recordings, and possibly analyze forensic evidence. Our office does not draw any conclusions about whether the deputy's actions were consistent with our policies and in accordance with the law until the investigation has been thoroughly completed. It is important to note that during the course of the investigation, our understanding and determination of the incident might change in the event new information is brought forth and new evidence is discovered. A brief disclaimer, the content you are about to see and hear may be disturbing to some viewers. When deputies are put in a position that requires them to use physical force to effect an arrest or defend themselves against an attack, the actions can be graphic and difficult to watch. Additionally, some of the language heard in this video might be viewed as strong and offensive. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. On January 17th, at around 11.10 p.m., a Greenville County deputy initiated a traffic stop on Wade Hampton Boulevard near St. Mark Road. The vehicle was stopped due to having an unlawfully obstructed license plate and making an improper turn. Here is video footage from the deputy's dash cam that shows the initiation of that traffic stop. Upon approach to the vehicle, the deputy smelled an odor consistent with marijuana and began speaking with the three occupants inside. It was discovered that the front passenger, who would sustain the eventual gunshot wound, was 16 years old. Therefore, certain audio and video portions of this video will be redacted to protect the identity of the minor. Here is the continued footage of the traffic stop from the deputy's body-worn camera. Hey, how are y'all? Good. You have something over your uh, license plate. I can't read it at all. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know what you have over it? Is that no idea? Y'all got a driver's license? Do y'all have IDs on you? No ID. You're under 16. What's your birthday? What's your name? What about you? I'm sorry? I'm not even going to try to spell that one. What's y'all up to tonight? Hey, back from where? Will you hand me his ID? Thanks. Y'all got insurance? Will you get, you have anything illegal in the car? No guns in the glove box or anything like that? Do you want to grab your insurance? Did y'all smoke a little tonight? Where'd y'all, where'd y'all, how much y'all smoke tonight? I can smell a little bit, it's just probably, I'm just asking to see if it's still in the car. You, oh, I do smell it. I ain't too worried about it if it ain't in the car, I was just curious. You what?
there any green in the car, or y'all just smoke it earlier? Okay. So I told you I smelled it. That's fine. Control me, I have 1041 Charlie on the way. Do you have your registration too, sir? Just because I couldn't see the tag. I'll get it in a minute from you. And you're welcome to turn the car off. You don't have to, but gas is freaking expensive. It just gave me a minute because actually this is a friend of mine's dad's car. Oh, you're fine. Not a big deal at all. Is it all right if I call Brandy and see if she can ask her dad? Absolutely, if she can get a, especially if she can send you a picture of it or something. Okay. So you got ID on here or no? no? Do you have a South Carolina ID issued to you? No. How old are you? 20. 20? Why don't you have ID? Because I ain't never had no social security or no, I ain't okay. never had no Where are you from? Well, you have a social security number then. So you don't have a card. You have a number. Yeah. That's all right. I'll work on getting all y'all's information in a second. Yeah, we should be done here shortly. Okay, while she's working on that, I think my partner just showed up. He's going to hang out with y'all while I check your name, sir, and make sure your driver's, is your driver's license good? Yeah. It's not suspended or anything? All right. And then uh, I'll get y'all's names just so I can document who I'm out with. And then uh, we might check and make sure there's no green in here, but it ain't going to take us long. The car's off. Uh, I can smell some marijuana in there. He's getting insurance. And uh, neither of them have their IDs with them, so I haven't gotten the names yet. If you just want to say 10, 12. Once the backup deputy arrived, he stood by with the vehicle while the initiating deputy ran the information collected from the stop as part of his investigation. Afterwards, the deputies began to remove the occupants one by one due to the evidence of an illegal drug. The first occupant to exit was the front passenger juvenile. Mr. Davis is clear. If we want to pull them out one at a time, make sure. Okay. Hold on, I'll get you out in a second. What's that? As the deputy was patting him down for weapons, he observed a bulge in his front side waistband. The deputy determined the bulge to be a gun and maintained contact with that part of his clothing to ensure the suspect could not pull it out from underneath his waistband. Moments later, the gun went off, striking the suspect one time. Oh, handcuffs. Gun. Oh, he just shot me in my rear, Ma. He just shot me for Don't I'm not reach for bro. nothing. Me in my room, Ma. He's Don't, shot reach, don't, don't reach for nothing. Don't stay right there. I'm not reaching me, bro. Ma, you just shot me, Ma. He just That's shot me, Ma. He just 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 I didn't shoot you. Your gun went off. Ma, you just fucking shot me, Ma. Keep your hands up. Roll over. Roll over. Watch that gun, though. I'm over. I'm over. Don't shoot me again. I didn't shoot you. Keep your hands up. 
You got him, you got him. Keep your hands up. I'm not pulling. I'm not pulling. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. You see my hands up, baby. Yep. Man, he just shot me. He had my phone. Alright, I need handcuffs. I'll get them in. Yep. He had my phone. He had my phone first. Ma, he just shot me. I got one in there. He just fucking shot me, Ma. Get my fucking leg, Ma. You. Get out of the car. Ma, he just fucking shot me. Don't move, alright? Sir, why he just shoot me? Don't move. Ma, he just fucking shot me. Oh, my ass out there. Oh. Oh, my fucking ass. Oh, mama, my ass hurt. Mama. Ah. Mama, you just fucking shot Once me, Once we get mama. another unit here, we're going to need 1051 for 1049 Bravo. I believe it's to the leg. Mama. Quit reaching. Quit reaching. <laughs> quit reaching for anything. You are. Your gun's still on your hip, so quit reaching. Kick it off me. 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 I fucking feel my ass. I ain't got nothing else. I swear to God. Roll on to your right side. Just gonna put it right there. Okay. Mama, if I... Where are you hit? Let's go ahead and start here. Go ahead and step out, man. He's on the phone with his mom. Okay. Got any weapons or anything on you, man? Huh? Hold on, I'll get you out, sir. What's that? What's handcuffs? Gun. Oh, you just shot me in my leg, man. Don't, don't reach for it. I'm not reaching, bro. Y'all stay right there. During the next several minutes, additional backup arrived on scene and secured the other occupants inside the vehicle. Deputies also provided medical aid, including the application of a tourniquet to the injured suspect who sustained a single gunshot wound to his upper leg. Once EMS arrived on scene, the suspect was transported to the hospital where he was treated and released. The suspect was identified as a 16-year-old male, and due to his age, his name will not be released. He was, however, charged with trafficking fentanyl, unlawful possession of a pistol under the age of 18, unlawful carrying of a firearm, and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. Although neither of the two deputies fired their weapons, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division was requested to investigate the incident due to the gun firing in the deputy's presence. Upon SLED's arrival, the suspect's loaded 40 caliber Smith & Wesson handgun was collected and seized as evidence. Hello. I'm Sheriff Hobart Lewis. As noted in this video segment, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, along with the 13th Circuit Solicitor's Office, will continue its investigation to determine if the deputy's actions fail within the scope of the law. In a separate and internal investigation, the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, Office of Professional Standards, investigated to determine if the deputy's actions were consistent with the strict guidelines and standards outlined in the Sheriff's Office Use of Force Policy. At the conclusion of their investigation, it was determined neither of the two deputies fired their weapon and no policy violations occurred. As to the suspect's gun firing, the investigation found the definite cause could not be determined. If you would like further information on our use of force policy, please visit our website at gcso.org. Click on the general orders link found under the resource tab. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.